Hello everyone, it's me Pavlo and today we'll be talking about really unusual earphones. It, they are made by uh, Hybit Digital and named Zeno. And uh, you can see I even don't have any retail package for them because it's a pre-release version. Because uh, Hybe wants to make a crowdfunding campaign for them. Campaign will be live in a few days. If I remember right, uh, they planned it for October 12th. And uh, during the crowdfunding, this model should be cost at $100 or even a bit less. But anyway, of course, you will read all the details when it will start. Uh, meanwhile, let's talk about earphones. When Hybe wants to experiment, they do it at full scale, without any compromises. And uh, those earphones are hybrids. Here used the uh, really great uh, dynamic driver and new MEMS driver, which is also really interesting, because it's a new type of uh, receiver that recently released on the market, but already shown great potential. But uh, to utilize the full potential of these uh, drivers, uh, Hybe decided to use two different digital to analog converters. So here I used the ESS9018 uh, Q2M and the Cyrus Logic 43131 simultaneously. So different digital to analog converter chips for different drivers. Add here support of uh, parametric equalizer and maybe some other possibilities they can add in the future. So it sounds like a really interesting model, so let's find out what it gives us. As well as any other reviewer who got this pre-release version, I didn't get any retail packaging. But of course everyone who will participate in crowdfunding campaign will get it. And uh, most likely it will be something nice, because Hybe usually creates a stylish and interesting package. You can recall, for example, R4 or there are other models. Anyway, I've got earphones, I've got three pair of tips, and uh, some why I got this leather case. Uh, and actually case is pretty nice, so I hope it will make its way to the final accessory set. Here are earpieces themselves. Design is pretty modest, but at the same time looks nice. Uh, earpiece is made of black glossy plastic. Uh, they gather uh, fingerprints a little bit, uh, but not too much. So uh, all that grease uh, doesn't uh, catch your attention. I really like shape and smoothness of earpieces. In my ears they fit really well. Of course, I can't say for everyone, but for me wearing comfort is really high. Also, they have nice extended spout, uh, giving about average passive sound isolation. As you can see, they have uh, vent holes on top, uh, but that doesn't reduce uh, sound isolation. There is a lip for holding the tips and protective grill, so these aspects are made uh, pretty well. So they fitting nicely flush into my ears and remain there uh, absolutely comfortably. So in this aspect they are good. Cables are not replaceable. As far as I understand they have separate wiring for each driver because all crossover business uh, is made inside of this block. So they have ear hook that helps reduce microphonic effect, but not completely. And here are cables themselves. Pretty nice and reliable, but average in terms of softness. There is a slight microphonic effect, uh, so uh, when it touches your clothes, you can hear a bit of noise. I com communicate this feedback to Hybe, and they said that they will tell this to their engineers. So I hope they will address this in the final version. And here is splitter and control block and digital to analog conversion block in one. It's pretty big and bulky, but let's remember that we have two digital to analog converters here. And uh, we have a hybrid digital logo. Uh, you can remember that we have two companies, Hybe Music and Hybe Digital with digital making focus on more affordable and um, less traditional, let's say, device. 
So two buttons to change volume. Also, if you press and hold them, they will navigate tracks. Also, there is a play pause with LED indicator and also one button that uh, cycles through three different modes. Uh, Hi-fi mode with parametric equalizer if you need it. Uh, music uh, games mode and uh, movies mode. If I remember right, I can be wrong, but everything is listed in the Hybis official site. And after the splitter, this cable goes to USB Type-C connector. It's really thick and pretty firm, so not super flexible. So I ho uh, hope it will also be replaced to something a bit more flexible. From another hand, it's actually pretty reliable and durable. Maybe they decided to use this cable for the durability. But let's remember that it's still a preview version, so some things can change for the final release. But in general, I think design is pretty good, taking into account this complexity that we're getting here. Automatic equalizer software, and this time I want to show the macOS version. It looks uh, pretty decent, and uh, it has really good uh, representation of the uh, equalizer itself. So you can see this software. It shows that uh, Zeno is connected. Then we allow parametric equalizer. You can see options to save, import, reset, share, and load and write to device. So then you can select band. There are 10 bands and they are numbered from zero, which I kind of like as a programmer. But anyway, so let's enable, for example, this one. And when we adjust it, you can see that curve is uh, changing. And you can select uh, at which frequency you want to apply this equalizer. You can adjust frequency, so you can just enable the bands you'd like to change. Also, you can select uh, what type of uh, filter you want to apply and so on. In my opinion, pretty universal and a good working solution with nice graphical representation. Here is a microphone test recording this part of the video with uh, built-in microphone of Hybe Xeno. Won't apply here any gain correction or equalization, so this part will give you an idea of how their microphones sound. Of course, for USB Type-C earphones, power consumption is another interesting aspect. So now on screen you can see the measurements. I've set volume level to comfortable for me and you can see the figures. Of course, we need to talk about the sound here and it's not that easy in this uh, case. Because in these earphones, Hybe once again did that no other company did before. And uh, I can recall few times when they did that and that surprised me. Actually, not all that products became super popular, but uh, they showcase uh, Hybe's potential. And first one was the true wireless earphones that they created uh, and their Bluetooth receiver. They were unusual and uh, Hybe created their own Bluetooth codec, which is really impressive in my opinion. And for that uh, true wireless earphones, I even don't remember that name, uh, it was like four or five years ago, they created digital crossover. They used dynamic driver and balanced armature and you could select uh, crossover cut frequency. And then they created their own digital to analog conversion architecture, Darwin architecture, and they use it in some of their players, which is also impressive. And of course, this model is another interesting achievement because here used two digital to analog converters for, uh, and two different drivers. They didn't uh, introduce any crossover uh, tweaking possibilities yet, uh, but they can do that. I'm not saying that they will do that, but um, control possibilities here are really impressive. But what we already have here is uh, equalizer, parametric equalizer with convenient application, possibility to store presets on the device uh, and on your 
host device and you can tweak the sound whatever you like. So, speaking about overall representation here makes uh, no sense because you can boost bass, you can like reduce treble, boost mids or any combinations of that. So, whatever you can like, you can do. But what remains constant here is the potential of two drivers. And we have the two uh, drivers, both with the strong uh, parts. Dynamic driver, of course, mainly suited uh, for the bass and lower mids when you need more weight, when you need to pump some sound or so some air when you need to get uh, more weight. It uh, gives you and MEMS driver is created for the mids and treble. I already uh, got acquainted with MEMS drivers uh, in the Noble True Wireless model. And MEMS have a huge potential, in my opinion, because they are really uh, natural in terms of treble representation and they deliver also really good upper mids. And these earphones actually can give you both of two worlds. So, by default, they are pretty natural. Not bass heavy, but you can boost this. this. And the dynamic driver is normal in terms of resolution. It's not super fast. But uh, probably it's uh, tuned this way on purpose uh, to give you both weight and uh, punch when it's necessary. Don't expect super dry fast punch and uh, super deep rumble, but at the same time you getting enough of weight, uh, but not bass heavy representation. Boosting ba you can boost bass to a particular degree, but still I won't call them like some super bass heavy or something like that. Instead, they are more focusing on the naturalness. Uh, they are lacking a bit of uh, small nuances and overtones in the bass uh, when we compare them with uh, some expensive models. But at the same time, they render textures nicely and they produce really organic and enjoy enjoyable type of low frequencies. And example for the bass, it's uh, Instant Crush by Daft Punk and you... Uh, getting nice amount, even in the default uh, settings, and you getting good separation between low frequencies and mids and treble, which is I always like for electronic music and other genres that uh, uh, depends on uh, nice bass. Mids are clean, crisp, without any coloration, with good uh, amount of details, not focused on the micro contrast, uh, but with decent dynamics. Once again, comparing with more expensive models, of course, there could be better emotion representation and the weight distribution, but actually you can tweak amount of weight you like with equalizer by boosting uh, a bit uh, that area in between bass and lower mids, you can make them slightly warmer. I really wonder, will uh, Hybe introduce some kind of MSEB for these earphones? It would be so cool uh, to have this. Uh, I mean, not on the player, but on the device itself. But I'm not sure, is it possible or not? You know, I'm really impressed with technical innovations in this device, so I'm uh, fantasizing a little bit what can be achieved with all these schematics and electronics. Really good imaginary stage, really spacious and three-dimensional, not super wide, but above average in width and uh, slightly above average in depth, but with really good, nice, distinct uh, depth layering, which is uh, really uh, unexpected for this uh, price tire. And example for the mids. I've selected pretty complex track. It's uh, Hacking 1985. Really like this uh, progressive metal band. They heavily using synthesizers riffs here. Uh, it's some mix of heavy metal with uh, retro wave probably. I really enjoy it. And uh, here you getting a nice amount of bass and uh, really technical mids with proper weight distribution. Uh, Maybe not yeah, proper, not superb, but proper. It's nice fitting word here. 
and uh, good amount of uh, treble to represent percussions and stuff like that. And treble is good here, really, without any words. Nice layering, not even basic one uh, to my ears, because not superb, but uh, pretty nice. Uh, both uh, basic and extended overtones, and uh, they can be sharp, but if you don't like that, you can actually reduce treble, whatever you like. But, in general, they not sharp uh, per se, they only deliver what is present in the record. Really good attacks and decays, and nice overtone saturation gives you um, maximum sense of naturalness. So, example, it's Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin, and probably you understand why I've selected this track here. Guitars, vocals, everything is airy, goes to the treble area, saturated, enjoyable, and uh, sounding really engaging. And these earphones deliver it uh, pretty well. Of course, there is no sense in comparisons here, because these uh, earphones are chameleons, uh, you can change them whatever you like, so there is no comparisons here. To summarize everything, I think for $100 these earphones have crazy potential. In terms of sound, uh, they can be any, almost anything you like, because here used good drivers and the schematics that allows you to change uh, signature. Uh, there could be some improvements in ergonomics, I mean better cables. But besides of that, it's really interesting experiment that allows a lot of uh, great things to come to the personal audio world. Thank you for listening, thank you for your attention, and have a great day.